Hello guys, and for today's video, look what I got, it's from Daiso. Okay, so I just went from Daiso Japan, and today, as you can see on the title already, so we are gonna be making an audio option for the Canon G7X, since it doesn't have um, audio input, so that for your um, audio recorders, if you have one, if you want to put, um, if you want to change the quality of your um, G7X while vlogging on the streets, there is actually two ways. Um, if you have a recorder, you put it there and then you put the camera there and then you record and then and when you're done you will get the audio from your camera and change it using the recorders. And I have the idea, what about if um, on the streets, if you are vlogging on the streets and you don't have a um, recorder. So actually, I have an idea. Example, imagine this is a camera and then imagine this is the recorder and then there is actually this thing this is mount this mount and then you put it there and imagine this is a recorder and then you put it there and then when it's done and you're vlogging like that just like that so we are going to test this out and let's see if how it works so first um, let me show you what I got in Dice Japan so this is actually um blower for camera video and PC um, you can also use this for keyboard so like you squeeze this thing and then there's air going on here and of course the what you'll need um, is actually two mount piece just like this but since I cannot find this um, mount piece I actually bought it from Daiso the cheap tripods and I'm going to cut this mount piece and I'm going to cut this mount here, which is actually not very durable, and place it um, upside down together, and let's see um, if how it works. So first, let me open. So this is like I told you guys um, in my uh, in my um, Zoom H1 video. So this is this is the cheap one and this is the durable one. So they they look okay, they look the same. Like 100% the same. But if you really watch the details, you can see this thing and then this thing is actually different. You get a shape right there. Not sure if you can see that one. It's like a flower shape and in here is Round, round trip, it's just straight, no no zigzag or whatever, and then also this thing moves, okay, it's, move. it's moving actually, this is heavy and this is so cheap, but let's proceed to what um, this video is all about, and we're just gonna keep this, we don't need this in our project, right there, we're going to open this one, So here, I'm gonna be back when I already cut this thing and then same and to this thing and then we're gonna detach it just like that. This thing gets connected here and see you when I'm already done detaching it. Hello guys, so I'm actually changing plans right now. So as you can see, um, we are not going to, um, where was that? We are not going to cut th this edge right here. We are not going to cut this um, thing right here. So I'm changing plans. So I actually found out um, something um, which is easier. So this is actually the f the feet of the tri tripod, and then it's it it is actually attached right here, just like that, just like this. It is actually attached just like there. And then what I did was unscrew this thing off. Let me focus this. There is, there, there is a screw right there so we will unscrew that one and then once you're done unscrewing that one um, it's gonna look like this um, so it's going to be detached so you can actually get this thing and then what we need to do next is get the feet off then let's get this thing off so th this is actually really pretty easy you can use um, super glue or any adhesive stuffs, which is for um, plastic materials since this is actually a plastic. 
so what we are going to do is we are going to we are going to put this thing right here so let me do this thing so it's going to look like this once you're done I'm attaching this thing right here so what we are going to do is actually the most um, interesting part of this video is actually putting this um, together so we are going to stick um, this thing right here using um, adhesive or super glue so just like that once we've already stick this um, together of course this is plastic and this is not actually durable so we are going to wrap this one with um, a tape or any electrical um, electrical tape because the material is very cheap so um, this is, we should not trust this um, material since we are having the Canon G7X um, right here seating and the Zoom H1 right here um, seating also. After we stick this thing, we are going to put um, tape right here so that it won't come out. Hello guys, and I'm actually done um, making this. So I actually put ad adhesive before I um, wrap this up with a packing tape. So it's your choice if you want to put um, electrical tape or packing tape but for me um, I guess this works fine for me and this is how it looks like and after that you can actually put this thing on the hole if you want to tighten the grip and then you can also you can also move this thing if you're wondering so that's it so it's actually already attached in my hands right now and are you excited so it's actually here in your side because there's a mirror here so it's it looks like this the glue didn't stick yet properly but hopefully it will stick and then you got the packing tape right here for extra durability and this is how the mic um, setups looks like you can adjust this um, angle if you want but I want it this way and I already lock I already tightened the grip right here and if you want so um, you can adjust it you all you want so this is how it looks like and a little bit um closer look okay I cannot do the side by side since it's moving actually so this is how it looks like you get the mic here um, this thing that we made in your Canon G7X that doesn't have a, an output for a mic. Hello guys, so I hope you like this um, idea of how I make um, this, um, how the solution goes for if you don't have the audio input in your Canon G7X or other cameras. And I hope you like this um, video also. So subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, like if you like this video, comment if you have questions. And as always, thank you for watching. And if you're wondering if it's heavy in the hands, of course it is um, more weight than before. But trust me, it is it is um, so much better than the DSLR which you carry like that. And they, they are so much um, heavy and this is so much lighter. And that's it.